Hi, my kinder friends. Hi, Noah. Hi, Fernanda. Hi, Clarissa. Hi, Emma. I hope you guys are doing well. I just wanted to take a minute to um, just share with you a few of the things that we were going to do tomorrow. Um, I just thought it might help you guys a little bit if I, every once in a while, kind of just catch you up and make sure that you know what you guys are, are up for. So for tomorrow, um, we are going to be reading a story called Chicka Chicka Boom Boom, which you may have heard before. It's a lot of fun. It's a really cute story. And after we're done reading that story, we're going to talk about, again, sequence of events, right? Yes, this morning, we talked about details in the story, what happened in Molly Lou Lemon, and what were some of the details that were not in Molly Lou Lemon, if you remember that from this morning. So today, we're going to talk about sequencing. So what happened first? second, third, and last, which is fourth. So you're gonna be working on this paper, Chicka Chicka Boom Boom sequencing, all right? And you're gonna take these four pictures and we're gonna talk about what happened first in the story and you're gonna glue that, whoops, you're gonna glue that over here and then the picture that happened next and then the picture that happened third and then fourth. Okay, so you're gonna work on that. You're also gonna be working on, um, in the afternoon, a Chicka Chicka Boom Boom hat. So if you put your name on this and then you color the hat and then you're going to take your scissors and cut here, up and around, you can go ahead and glue this to one of the sentence strips that I gave you and then moms and dads can either tape it or staple it. You can make your own hat at home because we're going to be doing that in the classroom. Um, you are also going to be working on your math pages. So you know that we talked about one-to-one -one correspondence which is easy peasy. All that means is if I give you a number, you have to be able to show Mrs. Lucas that you know how to count that many objects out. And so you are going to be working through a little packet. I have two little packets for you. They're in your own workbook page. You got a workbook. So you're going to have to pull out these pages. Okay. Mom, mom and dad can help you. So, um, or grandma or grandpa or whoever is there to help you. So you're going to be working on page 21 through 24. It's a little packet. It's four pages. Just like we did um, yesterday, you're gonna count. There's one, two, three horse beanie babies. So you are going to take your favorite color crayon and you are gonna draw for me three circles. One, two, three, to represent the number three. You're gonna do the same thing over here. One, two, three, four dinosaurs. So you're gonna color in or draw me one, two, three, four circles and so on. Very similar to what we did yesterday. If you have any questions or are not sure about the directions, have mom, dad, grandma, grandpa, have them read on the bottom because that gives you all the instructions. Um, on this page, you're going to be practicing tracing the numbers, okay? Same thing that you did today, only with number, or yesterday with number three and four. Same thing over here, you're going to be doing um, a little bit of counting. You're going to trace those numbers and then you're going to count how many objects there are and write the number. Okay, same with back here, a little mid-chapter um, checkpoint. So you're going to be working on that for math. Um, the next thing that you are going to be working on, a couple of little things. We talked about the letter T yesterday. So you're going to actually do a sort. You're going to cut out all of these pictures, and you are going to glue on pictures that begin with T and do not begin with T. Okay, so on the left, Pictures that begin with T. On the right, pictures that do not begin with T. Um, a couple other little things that I'm gonna have you work on. You're gonna also work on the letter V. So basically, you're gonna start at the top. You're gonna write your name in pencil, circle letter B. You're gonna take your favorite color crayon and you're gonna circle all the capital and lowercase b's that you can find in this box. And then at the very bottom, you're gonna trace the number twos. And then down here, you're gonna write the number two by yourself. So one of the things that we're working on in class is you're gonna put a finger space in between. So the number two, finger space, and then write the number two, finger space, write the number two, finger space. So between every number two that you write, you're gonna put a finger down so it leaves a space, okay? So you're gonna work on letter B if you did not do that yesterday, and then you're also gonna work on letter C. Okay, and at the bottom of letter C, you're gonna do your number threes. Same thing. 
At the very bottom, you're on your own. Take those training wheels off and you guys are gonna do it by yourselves. Just work on stretching your numbers from top to bottom and using finger spaces in between, okay? All right, guys. Um, the last couple things that I wanted to talk to you about. So Clarissa, you were asking about this. I asked everybody to get a poetry binder. So basically it's just a three ring binder. When you open it up, you're going to need to have some page protectors. I have these in, in the classroom if you guys need any. For next week, when you start picking up, you can let me know um, and I can give you some of these. So basically, you're going to take a piece of paper at home. It can be a colored paper or a blank paper. You're going to glue this poem on. It says, everybody has a name. Everybody has a name. Some are different, some the same. Some are short, some are long. All are right and none are wrong. My name is, and you're gonna write your name in there. My name is Emma, or whatever your name is. It's special to me. It's exactly who I want to be. And then when you're finished, you're gonna take your pencil, of course, after you wrote your name in here, and then you're gonna take your picture and you're gonna draw your best picture of you with all your body parts with your pencil, and then you're gonna go back and color that in, okay? And then when you're all finished, you're gonna actually slide that, you're gonna open it up and you're gonna slide it right down in your poetry journal so that you will have it in there when we start practice our um, reading from a poetry journal, okay? And then the next thing that I wanna share with you really, really fast, and it is the last, is that we have um, a Red Reader's Workshop notebook. So we haven't started this in class either, but we are gonna work on it tomorrow. So until you get this, use a blank piece of paper. Just use a blank piece of paper, and then you are going to find the letter T, which I put in your brown bag, you are going to cut it out and glue letter T here and glue Tommy Tiger Tasted Tacos right here. And then what you're gonna do is, with your pencil, you're going to trace letter T. See where, see where it has the dotted lines? You're gonna trace that. You're gonna color the turtle. And then up here, with your yellow marker or yellow crayon, you're going to find all the capital and lowercase t's that you see, and you're gonna color those squares in, okay? And if you get finished, you can color the um, tiger here, you can color the tacos, you can color all the background there, and that is gonna be your first page in your reader's workshop notebook. Remember what I said, I know you don't have this yet, so do it on a blank piece of paper, and then we can always glue it in, we can add it on, okay? All right. So those are some of the things that you're gonna work out for tomorrow. Um, anything that we don't get to while I'm on with you, I'm gonna do my best to get through as much as I can, but anything that you don't get to, that's gonna be your afternoon work, okay? All right, you guys, so have a great, uh, well, you'll be, you'll be seeing this probably in the morning, but have a great day today, um, and I know you're doing your best, you're doing awesome there. Everybody's completing their work, so I'm super proud of you. I love seeing everything up on Seesaw. Great job, so keep up the good work. Great big firecracker to you. Awesome job and have a great night, okay?